Once you've archived the video footage to a DVD or a CD writer, insert it to any Windows based PC and you'll get a pop-up screen which should come up in a second. Here it is. It's All you do is click open folder for view files. If that doesn't come up automatically you can go to start my computer and double click the CD-ROM. It's exactly the same as if you clicked on the open file. Now here you need to click the play directory first which is video play then click on video play icon this doesn't install any programs to your computer it just runs them in memory and now we have the player screen what you need to do is open path point to your CD-ROM drive sometimes the tree isn't shown as it is so what you have to do is expand it and click on directory which contains lots of numbers which is normally the date that you archived the video footage so highlight that and click OK right here the video has been loaded you can see the bars showing where the recording is across the top you've got the date highlighted in this case September the 4th where the recording is and you can actually choose individual cameras so let's just oops, choose the first four because I've only archived four change to full screen I'm just going to forward the video a little bit by selecting on the timeline and click play video play starts in full screen mode you can change to single screen by just double clicking it. I'm going to double click it again. It goes back to 16 screen. You can also fast forward, rewind, pause. go to single screen on this one pause it what I want to do is save this as a still image so what I do is go to the sunflower icon this is directory where the still will be saved to you can change it just click on browse okay if you didn't press pause what would happen you would get the option to state how many frames from the time you clicked the sunflower you want to keep and once you've uh, chosen the number of frames just click save so I'm going to go back and do it again because I've done it wrong okay here you can see the frames that is picked up 20 frames in this case uh, snap, save, and here we have all the frames. Your view may look a little bit different to mine because I'm using a different software. I'm just going to close that viewer, then go back to normal. These other options this lets you convert the file to an AVI file which is a standard PC format I suggest you don't actually use this because it's not very good that lets you go full screen this one is uh, recorded on a widescreen PC hence that's why you get the black lines just click it again to go back this one lets you play back video that you archive to the PC i.e. the PC that you're currently using to uh, play back the archive uh, this is useful if you're using um, remote recording uh, through the internet 
or a local area network. And this one is just open file like we did at the beginning. <laughs> 